Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. For this video, I have another haul to show you guys from Macari. If you haven't seen my other Macari hauls, you guys gotta go and check them out. I've got some amazing treasures, one of a kind, rare things. I found a Z bead that was worth like $3,000 on eBay. Crazy stuff from Macari. And um, if you haven't checked them out, you got to go and check them out. They don't just sell jewelry making supplies. You can buy all kinds of stuff on Macari. They have everything. And I will have, by the way, I will have down there below in the description bar, I will have a link for you. If you click on that link with your phone, you go t to the app, download the Macari app with your phone, you will get a $10 coupon off your first purchase. So you could find something on Macari that's like $10, no shipping, you would get the item for free, you wouldn't spend a single dime. Or for example, you could find a $5 item that costs like $3.59 to ship, you would get that item for free because it was $10 or less. So anyways, you got to go and check out Macari. I found some amazing things and I found some really good stuff again this time and I'm excited to show you it. So let's go ahead and dive in to what I got. And again, check out the link down below in the description bar. So um, this seller I found, <clears throat> she had multiple beading stuff. She had like one of those drawer carts with beads and thread and stuff in the drawers where she just like took... Uh, pictures of the stuff that was in the drawers and so I went to her I, I clicked on some of the beads that I liked and then I clicked on her username and I saw that she had other stuff available and she had four different things that I was interested in and it would have cost me um, I think it was $45 for all of the beads okay that she was selling and to ship it would have cost another forty dollars because it was ten dollars to ship each thing so I contacted her and by the way I find that it's very good to um, talk with the sellers if you're shopping on Macari you want to talk to them before you buy anything ask them questions and most of the time I've not found one nasty person I only had once one person didn't reply back to me but whatever that was their loss so anyways I asked her if she would combine the stuff for me and if so how much would shipping be so she got back to me and she said that it would cost I think to combine all four of the things I want would cost like fifteen dollars and I asked her if she would take I think it was thirty five dollars for all four of the things she had because she had it on her page for a while and she said yes so my bill was 50 bucks, but I had two $10 coupons because Macari is always really great about coupons. So I ended up spending $30, just $30 on everything I'm about to show you here. Okay? So everything you're going to see was 30 bucks, everything, because I had it all combined. I made a deal with a lady. So let's start with this bag here. And just this here, I felt, was worth probably almost $30, or right at $30. These are check leaves. This is um, a milky opal check leaf color. I love check leaves. If you've watched a lot of my videos, you know that I love to make flowers. I could not believe that I found this many from one person. Look at that. It is one of the most beautiful check leaves. Very detailed. The veins. I have a bunch of these in my stash, but I don't think I have this color. I have like all the other colors except for this color here. I might have this with an AB finish on it, but I'm not sure. I don't think I do. No, I know I have greens and purples. I have like beiges. I have reds. Stuff like that. I don't think I have this color. Anyways, this is a Hank. This is a Hank. Look at this. So this one was broken. I just dropped my bead tray. But there is one, two, three, four strands. And then there's this one here. So there's actually five strands of these leaf beads. That is crazy. I've bought um, these before. I think they come on, a, was it 25 leaves on a strand? For several dollars. I know that Beetaholic, I bought a lot of them from Beetaholic a long time ago, and it was expensive, so I was extremely shocked that I was 
able to get this many of them. I don't know if the lady knew what all this stuff was worth, or maybe she was just really trying to get rid of it, because I know there are um, sellers like that, and I totally understand that, because I've had yard sales myself and sell things way cheaper just to get rid of the stuff. But yeah, that was an awesome find. Extremely excited about that. Now there is something that I got in this that I did not expect. I did I saw it on the camera and I thought it was Kunzite, but when I got it, it was actually something else. Oh, this is already open. Now I did go through some of this by myself, but I didn't go through all of it. Like there's a uh, freshwater cultured pearls in the other bag. I didn't really get to go through those. So here are some more leaves. These are matte. A, B, pink, and it's a center hole. These here, I don't really use these for making flowers, but I know how to use these for making flowers if I wanted to, but it has to be done with wire, not monofilament. But those are pretty, and I do mostly use this one here for stringing, okay? And these, I love these so much, because it's like the turquoise teal, it has the white in it. Those are beautiful, and look, these are on these have never been used before. These are on their little hanks and their little strings. Some of these still have tags. Look at this one. 275. That's a really cool color. I'm kind of wondering if these ones glow in the dark. I don't know. That's something I'd have to check out. Boy, wouldn't that be something if those glow in the dark? I do have three or four glass lampwork beads that glow in the dark. And that was a total mistake. I had those on my desk, I think, and I turned the light off and I left the room and I came back and I saw something glowing. I'm like, what is that? And I realized my beads glow in the dark. These are gorgeous too. So these are matte and these are transparent and it's like the same color pretty much. But all three of those, love that. And then we have some daggers. These are the smaller ones, clear AB. These, these are not flowers. These are like, it's like a bell shape or a cone. I've actually never seen this check bead shape before, but it's pretty neat. I think it would look great with a bead cap on this side up against like a 10 millimeter round or something. Maybe check fire polish bead. Here are more daggers. Can't get enough of bronze. Love that color and that's six dollars right there for that strand these are incredible i've never seen this flower before i have a ton of flowers in my bead stash i've shown you guys before i've done a video before on my collection of flower and leaf beads but look at this i think it's a called it's, i think it's called a button flower because i have some that are similar to this but this one's flat the button flowers i have are bell shaped but this color is gorgeous. It's like caramel. Does that mean it's six dollars? It says six R. I don't know. I love that strand. And this, I think this might be Alexanderite. I am not for sure. Is it AB on both sides? No? Hmm. It might be Alexanderite where it's purple in sunlight and then inside lighting it's blue. It's kind of hard to tell though because it's AB finish. But those are gorgeous. That would make awesome flowers. And these here, I think I have this color in my stash. Olivine with gold in it. Very pretty. So already you see that this is a pretty good haul. Uh, this is stuff that I've collected forever. Leaf beads, flower beads. There's a petal bead. Not in this bag that I'm going through, but the next bag after this. I have four bags I will be going through with you guys. Um, the next bag after this gallon bag that I'm going through has this one petal bead in it that I've never seen before. It's shaped kind of like a a pip but has like a dimple in it okay so here are some more this looks like it might have been a project maybe not okay so that one's in a strand that's a long strand huh more check leaves 
There's this one here, which I did a video on this leaf. Do you guys remember? I will uh, pause and put the picture up now. That was an awesome project. I love that so much. I I've actually struggled with this shape leaf here for a long time, and I was so happy to finally do something with these. But that there is the same leaf that I used in that necklace. And there's a few in here. It looks like different colors. This one's more limey. This one's darker. Yeah. Okay, there's that. And then, this here, I did not open this. I thought I would do it with you guys. There was a bracelet in here. It was just like this one. Gosh, I need scissors. <clears throat> there was a pink coral bracelet in here. It, it never was worn. It was in its original bag. It had a label on the bag. And it had um, a gold filled clasp on it. This is a necklace. So the other one I had was um, gold filled. This one might be silver. So the clasp goes just like this. This is the first time I've seen this closure. And then you push it in. I think that's pretty cool. So this bead, I don't know what this is. I want to say it's painted. But um, I'll have to get my little magnifying glass. There is a stamping there on that closure and figure out what that is. Okay. And then, more leaf beads. I think this is a different shade of green. Ooh, that one's luster. That one's very Christmassy to me. I don't know about you guys, but that definitely makes me think of Christmas, that bead right there. And I like that it's all over the bead instead of just on one side. These little green stacking containers, every time I've ever had these, I've only had one. I've never had a pair of them. And then I get rid of it, or I, I lose it, and then I, I get another one. It's like, oh, I should have kept on to it. I would have been able to stack them. There's the other color. I like the darker one more. You know, I guess it depends on what I'm making, though. I feel like the limey one is more like spring, summer. The dark one's more winter-like. And then these. There's a bunch of these. So these are drops. Mm, I don't know if I could find them all. I might have to take everything out. There might be five, six different colors. There's another one. Okay, I was wrong. There's more than five and six. So there's this one here. So this says bead fringe gunmetal dark greens. 10 grams. So basically, iris green. I don't know why it says gunmetal. I've never seen that before. But these are old. I could tell they smell old. The label's coming off. It's yellowing. But that don't matter. Because beads, they always live on. They just continue. And you can't tell that this is green, can you? This looks terrible on the camera. Oh my gosh. But that is iris green. Beautiful iris green. I don't have many drop beads. I have a ton of teardrops, but drops for stitching stuff, I don't really have many of those. So I thought this was a cool find. And then these here, these are hematite. I don't think I'll worry about opening that because you guys know what that color is. It is sealed. Yeah, it's sealed. So it's never been used. This is... Bead Fringe Clear Lilac Lined, 10 grams. I wish it said what store it came from. 
so they're color lined. And then this one, is this brown iris? Or purple iris? Bead fringe gunmetal. I think it's dark golds. Yeah, someone wrote DK there, dark gold. But this here, I know this mostly by a brown iris or iris brown color. You'll see purples in there. Gorgeous bead, and then we have blue. Again, this one has never been opened. Dark blue. Yep. Blue iris. Actually, that one's cut right there. Okay, and then these. Oh, I love this one. Pink lined blue. Pink lined. It's cobalt. And then there is another purple clear. Purple line. So this one was lilac. This one here I think is prettier. It's like metallic y looking purple. This one here is also gorgeous. What is this called? It's cobalt green lined. I love this one. Those are gorgeous. This one's not open. And then this one. Is this purple iris? says gunmetal dark wines so that's different we don't call a lot of these names they're not called this but it's probably from the seller I always see a different companies stores calling the bead by a different name the color by a different name and this one here again looks like the green iris mixed blues oh this is um this is rainbow iris. Okay, and then we have some very old seed beads in here. This is made by Dandy. It says it's a dollar ninety-nine. A division of it says Tandy Crafts Inc. Fort Worth, Texas. These look like six O seed beads. They kind of look like they're Czech. Like, they look pretty uniform, maybe. Hmm, I don't know. There's one that looks screwy. They're not super bad quality, though. And then there are bugles, which I have a ton of bugles in my stash. Here is another necklace. It looks like the same one as the one that I already opened. And then another necklace again. This says, Necklace Mother of Pearl, gold filled 16 inch each. It says each. How many is in here? Well, oh, there's two right there. Those are gorgeous. I don't think I'll take those apart. They are put together, they are never worn what it looks like. They've never been worn. So there are some plastic beads in here, which I really don't use these. So I might do something with these, like give them away or something. I don't know. I do have a bunch of these in my stash. I need to do something with them one day. And then there are these here, Westrom Crafts. This is so old. When I first started beading, I started beading when I was a little girl. Like, seven years old, I think. Maybe five, it's like five, seven. Oh, I wish I could remember the exact age. I think it's around there. So I, I've been beading, like, almost my entire life. It's all that I care to do, really, is bead. <laughs> Anyways, um, when I went to Michael's Crafts, Back, back in the day, when I was a little kid, they had Westrom Crafts everywhere. All their beads, all their tools was Westrom Crafts. Do you guys remember that? A lot of you that have beaded for as long as I've had, for over 20 years, you probably remember that. And I remember um, Bead Gallery. They were like just rolling in. Michael's, I think, was just like rolling in their Bead Gallery collection at the time very long time ago 
anyways it takes me way back so these are faceted glass and these are great for christmas decorations they are really good for bead weaving that's why i like those four and these here are plastic six millimeter rounds and a lot of people would just think that these are junk but they're actually pretty good quality because they don't tarnish you can scratch the metallic finish off but you really have to scratch it like drop it on the floor step on it grind it on to like some slate tile or something i don't you really have to like torture it to get the silver to come off so i find that they last longer than the real metal beads so i do like those and i've used the three millimeter ones a lot and these here more west trim crafts 89 cents look at that it says silver lined they are no longer silver lined Rocal. oh my gosh that is so weird it says that they are silver lined but they are no longer it's so old they're no longer silver lined what does, but what doesn't make sense to me is usually the silver lining in the bead will turn black it'll tarnish it'll turn a dark like black color so it's a clear bead with a black hole but these have absolutely no color in a hole so that does not make any sense to me the only way to completely clear the lining out of the bead is to like clean it I've heard uh, someone said in my uh, comments once that they use the um, what are those jewelry cleaners that like vibrate where you pour the chemical your solution there and put your jewelry in it it like vibrates it cleans the holes out of these but I've always done acetone to uh, strip the color off of beads what I've done and these here I think this might be red jasper it says bead assortment gemstone teardrop 16 inch 20 by 9 millimeter I think it's red jasper These are actually a very nice quality. Like the holes are very centered. The ends are very smooth. They're not sharp. They're not jagged or chipped. Those are nice quality. Okay. There's still more in this bag, and then I'm going to go to the other bag. So as you see, she did have um, like $12 here, but um, I actually got it less than that because she had it posted for a while. This one, I love this one. I love the light purple amethyst beads. It says linkable. Necklace linkable. Lavender amethyst. 16 inch. This is so pretty. I will probably wear this as a double bracelet. That's such a cool closure. Very pretty. Yeah, I think I'll wear that as a double bracelet, a wrap bracelet. By the way, something about me, I hate chokers. I love jewelry, but I hate chokers. And it's all in the name, choker. Do you really want to be choked? I don't. Now this here is a little confusing to me. These look similar to bead frames I have. I did not open this bag. So I don't know if these are, are these beads or these bead frames? These are beads. Hmm. So I have bead frames that have a little hole on the side there. And then you put a five millimeter, I think it is, or a six millimeter bead inside the hole. And then, you know, you pass a needle through it and they look really cool. But uh, these are actually beads. For like going onto a wide cord. Or multi strands of beads, like seed beads going through there. And I have a runaway check fire polish bead in there. It looks like a gray AB. So that was this bag. Now we're going to go to the other bag, which has the big surprise in it. Okay, here's the other bag. 
So I'm going to see if I could find it. Let's see. Okay, here's more check beads. Uh, is it buried? Right here. This. I thought this was, looking at the camera, it looks like Kunzite. The purple gemstone, it's really light. It's like a purpley lavender. Uh, it's lighter purple than the lavender amethyst I showed you, in case you didn't know. But once I got it, I realized that it is opal. And opal is very expensive. There is one, two, three, four chips. This one has a tag on it. It says $20. It says KR4. I don't know what that means. KR. But I will show you. I hope my camera is showing the flash of color in this. They are gorgeous. I don't know if it's Ethiopian Opian. Ethiopian, Ethiopian Opal. Good grief. But it's definitely Opal. Some kind of an Opal bead. They are stunning. So gorgeous. And a reminder, I paid $30 for all of the beads I am showing you in this video. And this right here is marked at $20. Okay, here is more opal. I think there's two different grades here. The rondelles. And were they both graduated? That one's definitely graduated. <clears throat> this one is too. Okay. So again, I hope the camera is showing you what it looks like. I should videotape it with my cell phone because my cell phone has better footage or take pictures so you could see the difference. This one here is more white and washed out. This one is more purpley pink in color. And I don't know if my camera is showing that. It could be the thread that's inside because this one has purple thread and this one has orange. So that could also play into why one looks so different. But I really do believe that's opal. I was so excited to get this. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, no way, no way. Yeah, I thought it was Kunzite. Okay, so I think this was in that bag. And then these were in this one. So that was like the big surprise. I thought it was going inside. And it's helpful. Okay. And then these here. These are the petal beads I was telling you about. That are so unusual. These pink ones. From this side, they look like pips, but flipping them over, there's a little dimple, like in them. Do you see that? They look like cherry blossom petals to me. They are just precious. There's a lot on this strand. What is that, $8? Why would it say R? 8R, I don't know. But they are absolutely gorgeous. I love those. And then there are some Czech flowers. This is really pretty purple. This one says 415. That's a gorgeous color. I don't have that in my stash. Don't have this color either. I would totally buy these beads, by the way. Individually, I would totally buy these colors. Yeah. G-U-H. Don't know what that means. Don't know. Pretty purple. Here's another one. Looks like bells. It's not a flower. Kind of looks like bells. It's a neat shape. I've never seen that one. 
And then this one here, this one seems bigger than the regular leaves. AR. That's pretty. Here's bellflowers, purple. I think I might have that color. And then this, I thought this was like new, a new color or a new finish. This as it's acid wash is what it looks like. I thought this was new, so a lot of this stuff that I'm seeing looks like older stuff, but I don't know, maybe it is a mix, because don't these look like the acid wash finish? That's like newer and popular right now. Those are so gorgeous. And then this petal here, this is like peridot with purple. It's kind of unusual looking. I'm not crazy about this one, but interesting, very different, unusual. Okay, and. I have a bunch more to still show you. I'm going to try fast forwarding as much as possible. Here are some pearls. Here are some more check leaves. Can you believe there's still more? This must be the rest of that strand that was uh, broken up. <clears throat> And then, it looks like there's a necklace in here, where somebody was maybe doing some pearl knotting and didn't finish. Oh, those are side hole. I didn't realize that. So I didn't open this bag. I thought I would just do it with you guys. Okay, so this is some silk here on a card. Number one, silk. And then we have the side hole pearl there, side hole drilled. Those are gorgeous. Peach, that is my peach outfit here that I have on. So pretty. And then, yes, I am filming in my pajamas, okay? It's the day after Christmas, I'm allowed to film in my pajamas. Oh my gosh, this necklace is complete. Is that a gold clasp? Let's see, let's see. Hmm, I don't know. I don't see a stamp on it. I do think it's handmade though. Am I blind? Looks like it's knotted in between all the pearls. It's pretty lengthy. I don't think I will take this apart. That's beautiful. I think it's 30 inches long. I think so. And then this. This is strands. There's one strand. Looks like potato pearls. Two. And three. This is a side drill pearl. There's a knot. That's cool. I didn't expect that to be a complete necklace. I thought it was a project that someone started because that card was in there. I thought it was an unfinished project. Because I do do that sometimes. I will start something and not finish it. So this here is coral. I did not open this bag. I have to admit I am not crazy about this coral shape. Because it's so brittle. These are sea beads. These look like check. I want to say tenos, but the holes are really tiny. But those are very old check seed beads. Because the holes are so tiny is making me think that. Because I have seed beads with just ridiculously small holes, and I feel like I can't use them on anything. It's weird because the bead seems like it's kind of big, but the hole is just ridiculous. These little donuts in here are actually acrylic. They're not gemstone. They're super lightweight or they're bakelite. I don't know how to tell the difference though between bakelite and uh, acrylic. But this here is so delicate. 
they can break very easily. It's neat, but it's delicate. But I don't think it would be comfortable to wear a necklace made out of this. I imagine it would be very pokey and annoying. Okay, and then we have some seed beads. Mm, I think it's an off brand. Those work above enough, by the way. And then this here, I think this is something that's broken. That's a check bead. That's a super old earring. Wow, back in time. Look at that. That's the only one in there. It's an oddball. Yeah, I'll take that bead off of there. That's really old. It's uh, the screw on, like a, uh, it's not clip on. It's for people that don't have pierced ears though. It's a screw on earring. Just screw it on. Looks like rhinestones. And I don't know if that's glass or plastic. That's kind of neat though. And then these pearls, these are plastic. They feel warm to the touch. I still use them though. I do keep them separated though. I have glass pearls in, in one area, I have freshwater pearls in another area, saltwater pearls, and I have acrylic pearls. I keep them all separated so I don't screw them up. And holy cow, this is a lot. So these are again the plastic metallic colored beads. I do use these guys because they don't tarnish. So this is the rice one, and this is the round one. I actually have a lot of these in silver. I've used them so, so many times. I didn't have gold though, but now I do. They're actually great for bead weaving, and they work in place of 80C beads. I like using them in hair breadths because they don't tarnish. Like I said, what are these? I can't tell if these are, are acrylic. What is this bead? It's like a floating necklace. I think they're plastic, but they have like the most amazing color. Like they are real. That's not broken. They're just like really good quality plastic pearls. Look at that. Very pretty color. One of them is broken. No, I don't know what's going on. Well, it looks like I have two whole necklaces, but there's like extra beads in there. I think I will take this apart though. I'm not crazy about that thread that it's made with. And then I have a bunch more freshwater pearls in here. Like, I needed any more of these, and if you watched my uh, first haul videos from Makari, you know what I'm talking about, because I've got thousands upon thousands of cultured freshwater pearls, all different shapes and sizes and colors, and there's some red 8 of seeds in there. Anyways, oh, this is cool. I didn't open this. I just saw it from the outside. Is that red jasper again? Oh cool. This looks like red jasper birds. I think I have one of these birds in my stash. I don't know what gemstone I have it in, but this is a strand. A complete strand. These are gorgeous. Look at that one. They're all different. That one's pretty. There's a bunch on there. So I like that. And then this? Are these little bears? I think those are bears. I don't know what this stone is. But I very much like this stone. That's really pretty. It's a very pretty stone. 
And then there are some lampwork beads. Nothing too fancy. Just some lampwork beads. And that was this bag. So that's bag number two. Moving on to bag number three. Oh wait, I didn't go for these yet. It's getting all ahead of myself. So this just says made in China on it. So when I got all of those pearls, this is like a 16 inch strand. When I got all of those pearls in my first Macari haul, a lot of you told me to not store them in bags. That pearls need to be stored in open containers because they need to be exposed to moisture in the air to keep from drying out. And I've never heard of that before. So I did some research and it said to keep your pearls wrapped in linen and all this stuff which was is way too much for me to do. I can't do that to keep them from getting scratched because I have way too many pearls. I, I'm, I, there's no way I could store all of them. So I just got some really good containers for mine that are humongous where they get some airflow. But um, I think all of those are the same. I will probably put those together. These are, oh, there's three of these. So there's three of each one. But yeah, that's nothing. That's something I've never heard of before. Now, I have had per my pearls for years stored in bags forever, and I've never experienced them drying out. Maybe I'm just lucky. Or maybe it's because I live in Florida where it's like. 100% humidity outside all the time. It's ridiculous. So maybe that's why my pearls are doing good. But um, yeah, I, I can't imagine that happening. That they would like get chalky and dry out, I guess. That's a cool color. Even though I have a ton of pearls, I don't have this color in my stash. But now I do. So there's three bags. There's three bronze and there's three of the black. They're all like 16 inch strands. That This right here is such an awesome find. This is a Delica bead round gold. I don't know why it says round because Delicas aren't round. They're cylinder shaped. Amethyst luster 50 grams. This is a lot of Delicas. 50. Um, to get 50 grams of Delicas you have to of course go to a wholesaler but um there is a, was it Aurora Crystals? That's where I get my Delicas from. Wait, I got, uh, Aurora Crystals is where I get mine from, and, uh, Shipwreck Beads. But look at this color. That's epic. I have this color in 6mm Drux. It is gorgeous. Super excited to get that many. Okay. And then, I don't think I opened up this yet. There's dichro glass in here. I don't know if I'm saying that right. The last time I said that, I had some people tell me I was saying it wrong and they were being mean to me. It's ridiculous how people can be mean to me for saying something wrong. Get over it. I said something wrong. It's such a big deal. It's like the end of the world that I said something wrong. It's ridiculous. Anyways. Getting all tithered. Um... These here look like they are handmade, and this one is pretty per perfect for a ring. If I wanted to, I could make that into a ring there, but it's so transparent I would see my beads or whatever is behind it, so I don't know. This one here could be beaded around. Yeah, that one has a better background where you can't see through it. And then there is some cheapo 6OC beads in there. I still use them though, even though they're cheap. And then there's a mix of pearls in here, it looks like. Rice pearls. It's a full strand. There's a blue one in there, that's weird. It looks like there might be a broken necklace in here, but every time I think there's something broke, that's broken, I'm kind of wrong, so. Let's see. What? These pearls are strung onto a yellow cord. 
That's kind of strange, huh? More rice. And then some, like, stragglers in there. Yeah, I do think there's a broken necklace. So I'm just going to put all of these in here for now. Oh, and then there's these pearls, too. Button pearls. These are for gluing onto earring posts. See that? They're half drilled. I think I'll also put these in here. And that's it for this bag. I'm right this time. I've gone through all of these. Oh wait, have I seen those? I don't know if I went through those with you guys. I'm not sure about these. These look like bugles, but they're metal. I don't know if these are a kind of crimp. Have you ever guys, have you guys ever seen metal bugle beads before? From the end, they have a square hole. Do you see that? But they are definitely metal. I don't know if they're bugles or some kind of a long crimp. Tell me in the comments what you think they are. If you've ever seen this before. Wait, that's all pearls. Yeah, I was going to keep all the pearls together. Those are plastic pearls. Okay, so I'll go like that. So moving on to bag three. So here is bag three. I'm going to go to the uh, silk cording now. After this bag, I have seed beads, and then that's it. But um, I just wanted to go through this with you guys. I've never bought this cord before. I've always used Fireline. Um, I've used Superlon, I've gotten to Eslon cord, not Eslon, Celon cord now, but I've never used Griffin silk bead cord, and I always thought that when you use silk cord that you have to pre-stretch it, but I have watched people use this cord and not pre-stretch it. So now I'm confused. Is there two different kinds of silk? I've done knotting. I've done like the pearl knotting technique with gemstones, but I've not done it with pearls, if that makes any sense to you. So I've never actually have used silk, but I have done the, the knotting technique, and I think I'm pretty good at it. So anyways, there's a lot of griffin cord here, as you can see, all different sizes. I'm thinking that a lot of this might be old, but it's still in good shape. I don't know if there is a life on this like a, a, a lifespan of when to use this like if if it's a certain age it's trash or not I don't know so if you guys know anything about this let me know down in the comments so here is a number five and I got this in a bunch of colors there's a three eight here's a pink I love this one so pretty number six they all have the needles on them I think there was only a few that were open. I love this really heavy duty thick one. Number 10 there. Beautiful cords. Here are needles. This is the twisted eye needle. Again, look how old this packaging. Very cool. I showed you guys, I have a video I did years back where I showed you how to make your own twisted wire needles like that. I don't know if you saw that video or not, but um, I, I something I just came up with. And then we have, is that elastic? Oh, they put elastic on there, I guess, to keep it from unraveling. But there's another one, size 3. I have this in so many different sizes. I have Nymo here, which I despise Nymo. It is not my friend. It folds apart very easily. Looks like it's all size B. But, I say that I hate Nymo. But when I do experimenting, so when I experiment, when I'm designing my bracelets, rings, and stuff, I will experiment with Nymo because I can throw it away. I can get one use out of it and toss it because it starts to fray and stuff like that. But um, basically, I'm just wanting to get the design um, figured out. And so I use this for experimenting, and then I throw the thread away, and I remake the design in the video using... Fireline, but I have experienced that Nymo has like a stretch to it, so sometimes I can make something with Nymo and it has like a stretch to it, and then when I go to make it with Fireline, I get a different result. Not all the time, but sometimes, maybe I would say 10% of the time, I have that. I've noticed that. 
So that just goes to show what a difference your string material can make in a project. So there's a 10 again. What's that? Nylon. There's a number one. So thin. I love that pink. Four. So many different sizes. I think I will organize, organize, organize these by number and find a container that they can stand up in. That would be cool. Love the pink one. There's so many here, guys. There's a huge stash here. Beading needles. Wow, that's cool. Look at that packaging. Six, number 16 needles? What? They're all gone. Hmm, what does the number 16 needle look like? That's kind of cool packaging. This I think it is. I'm like fascinated by old stuff, really antique stuff. Eight. So there's a lot of cream, there's pink colors. Wow, that one looks like it could be very old, that packaging there. So let me know in the comments, is there like a lifespan for Griffin? Like, is this too old to use? By the way, this was grouped together. I bought, I had four different um, things that I asked her to bundle into one. So this was a whole nother thing. And I think uh, the price she had on the thread was six dollars it was six dollars or nine dollars or something i don't know so many numbers like i said i had four different things that i had her bundle for me oh my gosh that is green that's cool i love the pink and there's a lot of it it looks like i think that one's green so i think what griffin looks like today is this one right because I do have a brand new one of these that I got from Potomac. So much of this is unused. That one's in a baggie. That one's really tiny. What is that? Number one. So the, the highest number I'm seeing is 10. Does that mean it only goes up to 10? Ray, here's a needle. Here is a size 13 needle. That is so tiny. I've never used that size before. Look at that. I use 10 the most. And this needle here, holy cow, this is a 12. This is an extra long 12. Whoa, that is the longest needle. So I'm addicted to tulip beading needles because they literally last forever. I use the same needle over and over and over and over for like a year straight before it breaks. And the tulip beading needles, I've never had them snap in the middle, which is usually where my needle breaks. I've only had them break at the eye and that's after like several, several months of use and doing a really tight project where I'm just forcing and I'm just working it way too much as it'll finally give out on me. But so far I've only broken one tulip needle and I've had them for three years now and I've had the same pack. You buy them in a pack of four and I've had the same four pack for like three years now. Isn't that crazy? Uh, what's the other needle? The, the James ones? Those, every time I use them they break on me. I actually went through uh, three of those needles, not John James, what is it? You can buy a 25 pack of them, they're pretty cheap. I went through three of them in one project. I was so mad. And I was like, I gotta find a, a, something better. And I saw the tulip needles, and I'm like, well those are expensive, but everybody swears by them, so I tried them and I'm addicted to them. There is a black one in here. Looks like I'll have to ravel that one back up, but yeah, look at how much is here there is so much here I am not crazy about this color I have to confess that is not my most favorite color but I will use it that would look good with tiger's eye though that is like the cord to use with tiger's eye all right I don't know how many is here but it's a lot so now I'm gonna take you to my last bag of seed beads 
So here is the seed beads. This is marked at $20, but I did not pay $20 for this. I paid $30 for all four of these bags. I have no idea how long this video was going to be. These are gorgeous. I have never seen this seed bead before. I don't think it's supposed to be on this string. I think the owner had done this. But look at this. It's like beautiful burgundy matte. Oh my gosh. Those are gorgeous. They actually have like um sort of a brick red color. But on my camera they look brighter. I don't know why. And then there's these here. Which I think these might be check matte AB transparent red and blue I like that container but it's cracked why are these acrylic containers always cracked they crack so easily <gasps> that needle was just stuck in my sleeve oh my gosh good thing I found that before I got poked there's this here which I think whoever had these put those in there because I don't think they go in there they look like they're uh, poor quality and then we have some plastic beads which are so good for Christmas decorations my mom really wanted to make some Christmas decorations the past few years and we never got to do it she wanted to do the styrofoam ones where you put the beads onto the um, stick pins and you stick it into the foam those there would be perfect for that actually who really like the clear AB ones I think those are pretty and then, I don't know if I should open that. Sometimes I wonder if you guys want to see everything that's bagged. And I do get comments saying to please show everything. But sometimes it just seems like there's too much to show. That's kind of strange that they're on a strand like this. Hmm. Are they all strung? Usually these beads come in bags. Well, that one's really long. Maybe these were necklaces. These two are very long. 60 inches, I don't know. Oh, all of them are super long. I really like this clear one though. That's a nice size hole. That is so pretty, it looks like bubbles. Okay, back in the bag. I did not expect all of those to be on strings like that. I thought they were going to be ripped up. Okay, so for the seed beads, these are not um, perfectly uniform. Some of them I do think are Czech, but a lot of them are cheaper name brands, but that's okay. I still use them. So this here is an opaque green, and I'm going to have to rebag all of this stuff because see how these beads here are in this bag and only half the bag's full. This is not how I store my seed beads. When I store my seed beads, I will put them into a bag. Let's see if I can find one. That is like, there's no space left in the bag pretty much. Probably not. I don't think there's one in here like that. They're all like screwy. Anyways, I will put this into a bag where it will be like this. Where there is like no space left in the bag. Just a little bit of movement. But um, spaces like bags like this, where like ha only half the bag's full, this takes up so much sp space, believe it or not. This is what I've experienced with my seed beads. I always store them in bags and tubes. And I do have some in containers and jars and stuff. But whenever you store seed beads like this in huge bags, whatever size bags, it's too much space. It takes up too much space. And then when you're looking through your beads, mine kind of looks like a filing cabinet of beads. You'll see all of this plastic and you can't see the beads. But, um... My bead containers, when I take the lid off, I can see all the colors at once because I don't have all this plastic in the way, if that makes sense to you. Um, I think I have shown my Dollar Tree containers that I store my beads in, but I don't think I've shown the other way that I've stored my Miyuki seed beads. I don't know. I've filmed a lot of videos. Anyways, this one here, is this matte? I don't know. Let's see. I have not looked at this up close. Hmm. Is this matte or shiny? Oh, it's shiny. They're just very dirty. See that? They're just very chalky. So it's a shiny, uh, 
peridot green color silver lined I will put these back in here I will have to wash these beads there's a few different ways I like to wash my beads by the way when I get dirty beads like this I take a, a uh, with these for example I would not put soap in this what I've done is I have put like I take a plastic bag I put a little bit of water soap and I go like this and then I drain the water out and then I pour out into a towel to dry but like with these here since it's just the outside and the holes aren't really dirty because this is just like I don't know they're not like filthy from a garment or anything these here I would just take and pour these out into a rag and just roll them and that would clean them up really nicely and then I could let them dry and put them into a container these here I think are dyed every time I ever find pink seed beads like this they are dyed which means underneath the bead is an entirely different color I'm pretty sure underneath this bead it is clear with a silver line this pink here is a paint over top so I don't know if you you've ever found a permanent pink bead but I have not now I have found purple ones I have some purple ones but for some reason the pink I guess are just extra hard to make these here are yellow opaque and I think I should probably speed up because this video is probably really lengthy and I don't want to make it too this is Iris AB. I have so many of these in my stash. That was one of my first like seed bead colors that I totally fell in love with. When I saw those for the first time, I'm like, wow, that is the best color. Nothing could ever top that. And then I found Picasso. There's a mix there. Different beads. These here, I think these are Czech. I think. I have this same exact color in Czech in tubes. Some of them look like they're funky shaped, but I do have some checks that are like that too. I don't know. They're pretty though. Very pretty. And this one, there's something weird in here. I don't know what that is. Probably take it outside and blow it out. Those are opaque blue. Here's some more pink. Fake dyed beads. And these are white, Ceylon, Ceylon, I can never say that word. Six O's, these are all six O's by the way. These are green line six O's. I actually really do like these, they're really cool. And then these here, brown. I'm excited to have this. I don't know if you've noticed this, but brown, opaque brown seed beads are like hard to find. Especially in stores. I've only been able to order them online. I had to, I was making a, uh, I made a beaded bird nest ring. If I can find a picture for that ring, I will put it up now. And to get those brown seed beads, I went everywhere. The only place I could find them, and they were in stock, was at Art Beads. And there was two different shades of brown, and it was really hard to tell which one was right. One was more red, didn't really look brown. I don't remember what it was called. I think it was Terra. Was it Terra something? Anyways, I just found it really, really hard to find uh, brown opaque seed beads, but those there are great. Those are definitely brown. They are not a shade of red. And there's six O's. Um, at the time, I was looking for 11 O's. These kind of look check. Orange, those are Eidos. And then we have some matte AB. Those might be check. These are faceted, four millimeters. Those are plastic. And then there's not many plastic in here. These are AB, purple. And then that bag has silver line purple. I'll have to wash those too. Those are dirty. And these, I'm happy to have these. These are six millimeter silver line green. I needed these a long time ago when I was making those veiny leaves. Here are some more orange. I have a lot of orange sixes in my stash because I hit up, what was it? Shipwreck beads, the vintage Venetian beads. I got a lot of orange. And these are silver line yellow. I don't have yellow. 
at least that one I have opaque but not the silver one and then turquoise which I could never get enough of and more brown which is really exciting like I said this brown is kind of hard to find these are silver line brown and then dark blue and gold silver line these bags are so dirty never been opened and these here these are very old too it's so cool to see this old stuff it says dandy these are black 60 seed beads I think they're 60 it doesn't say the size isn't it strange it doesn't say it I wonder if I can lift that tag out nope it totally just got destroyed hmm it says four millimeter glass so those are 60 seed beads So this is it. As you can see, I got a lot. Did I show that bag? Those are more gold. Silver line. This is a lot of stuff. Again, everything I showed you, all four of these bags, all of this stuff was only $30. So I recommend when you go into Macari and you're shopping around at Beads, if you find a seller that's selling more than one item and you like it, I recommend that you contact them, ask them questions, if they could bundle for you or if they could offer a lower price because she actually took I think it was five dollars off of this and then shipping would have cost me forty dollars if I bought everything individually so it's always good to contact the seller and um, talk with them that's what I have found you'll save a lot more money by doing that and again I will have the link for Macari down there below in the description bar click on the link make yourself an account you'll get ten dollars off your first purchase so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video this is my fifth video I have filmed today I kind of took like a Christmas vacation where I didn't film for over a week and now I'm doing five videos in one day and I actually have a tutorial that I could have filmed today so it could have been six but I think I will stop here because I am tired and really thirsty and I have like a sore throat from talking so much so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video please like this video leave me a comment subscribe if you want to see more of my videos make sure you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos and check me out my social media sites I'm on Facebook Pinterest Instagram and Twitter I need a drink really bad thanks for watching